guys, welcome to My Airbags. I'm Eli, and today I'm gonna to show you how to remove the airbag module out of this Volkswagen Passat. These are the tools that you're gonna need. I have my power drill, flashlight, flathead. I have a socket along with a 10 millimeter and I have a T20 bit. Now the most important step is to go ahead and disconnect the battery from the car. We want the car completely powered down anytime we work on the airbag system, whether it's the module, the seat belts, or any other part of the airbag system, we want the car completely powered down. Now, before I disconnect the battery, I went ahead and moved the front seat all the way back because it is a powered seat. I want that all the way back in this case, out of the way so I can work freely when I get to the center console. I'm gonna go ahead and move the battery from the car. And over here is the battery. I'm gonna pull this right up. And we have our positive and our negative cables here. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter to go ahead and move these right up. When you pull this up, make sure you remove it and pull it away so there's no chance of it making contact again with that battery contact. Move it away. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it back up. I'm down by the acceleration and brake pedals here, and I wanna to get to that little screw right there. It's being held on by a T20 right here to go ahead and take that right out. As soon as I remove that bolt, I'm gonna to wanna to get under here and start pulling and sliding towards the back of the car. So slide this panel like that and it's all gonna start pulling back and removing. And I'll show you how it's being held on. You wanna also remove some tabs over here. They just slide right down, right down and up. This whole thing comes up. And the reason you slid it first is because of this tab right here. As you can see, you wanna slide it back towards the back of the car so that it gets removed first. Now, if you go back to the position where we had that bolt, you're gonna be able to start seeing the module. It's right there. It's still kind of hard to see. We're gonna go ahead and remove this little black panel and you have some little plastic bolts here. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket to go ahead and remove those two bolts right there. They actually look more like plastic nuts. 10 millimeter socket gets the job done. Going back to here, this is gonna come right out. And put it aside. Okay, here's what you need to know. When the car gets into an accident, there's three main things that could be causing the light to be on. The airbags, the airbag computer module, and the seat belts. Any deployed airbags must be replaced with new airbags. You can buy a new airbag module. The problem is they cost up to a few hundred dollars, plus you have to pay a dealership technician to go in and program it to your car. In other words, you have to marry the new unit to your car. Here at MyAirbags.com, we work closely with body shops, collision shops, and salvage rebuilders in all 50 states. Instead of buying a new airbag computer, we can actually reset your original airbag module. In other words, we clear it of all codes 
And because it's original to your car, programming is not necessary. Seatbelts also deploy and they throw a trouble code. Instead of buying expensive replacements, you can actually send in your seatbelts along with your module. Our seatbelt tanks are licensed and they hold an ATF certification. This means that after your seatbelts are rebuilt, they will work again as designed. They will deploy in another accident event. Right after I remove this airbag module, stick around and we'll take a peek at the seatbelts. If you wanna know more, just click on the link in the description below or just go to myairbags.com. Here we have the module in plain sight. The module is located underneath the radio console all the way on the floor. If you notice, it's all the way on the frame actually. There's the plug. I'll show you how to take, disconnect that in a moment. And those, there's one nut that holds it down right there. And we're gonna have two more on the other side. On the passenger side, we have that bolt in the same position right about there. We're gonna go ahead and use that T20 again. We're gonna go ahead and again slide this way first. Get underneath and just pull back and make more of a sliding motion with the front panel. You will hear it pop and then the rest of the tabs will pop and come out. And look at this angle here. The rest will slide right down like so. Pretty straightforward. You're not breaking anything again. You're, you have your sliding tabs that hold everything down. And then in the front, it slid out as well with that one little screw holding it right there. And then right here we have our plastic nuts holding that black plastic piece down. We're gonna go ahead and use that 10 millimeter socket to remove. That's what they look like. Pull this right out. Right here we have those nuts holding down the module. At this point, I wanna make sure and I stress that the fact that the module is powered down, there is no power going to the car or the module. This is really important because if the module is powered up and plugged in, if you're moving it at that point, if it's loosened up and you're moving it, it's gonna think that the whole car is moving on its side or something dangerous is happening and it could deploy the airbags, roof airbags, pretty much all the airbags could deploy if you have the module powered up and it's being moved around especially. You want to make sure it's bolted, there's no power going to the module or the car. With that important detail mentioned, I want to go ahead and remove the plug first. So that little purple button right there moves back like that, it's gonna expose the yellow button. If you press down on that yellow button right there in between the purple, the lever right here is gonna pop up and that's gonna unlock the harness, the plug to the module. There it is, it just popped it up. Move it all the way back and as you do that, the plug will start moving away from the module. Let's go ahead and take these nuts right out. I'm using a 10 millimeter socket. I'm going to start with the front. Same thing on the driver's side. Now at this point, we want to go ahead and remove the module up. And slide it out the driver's side. Once you have your module out of the car, if you want to send it into us for a reset, 
you can definitely do that. Our website is myairbags.com. You can place your order right on there. If you have any questions, you can chat, email, or text with us, and we can help you along the way. One more thing that we constantly get asked about are the seatbelts. If your seatbelts are locked or deployed after an accident, we can definitely rebuild these back to new for you. We have a 24 hour turnaround on these seatbelts as well, a warranty on them as well. Everything we work on does have a warranty. You can send in the module and seatbelts in together. You can place that order on myairbags.com as well. I definitely recommend shipping the seatbelts in with the module together. You will save on shipping. Everything will get done in one shot. You will save more money the more parts that you get serviced rather than replaced. Now I'm going to briefly show you how you get to the seatbelts and do a brief explanation on them as well. Now I'm going to start by removing this panel right here first. If you have a large flat head, uh, a crowbar, a large flat bar, or a large flat head, you can go ahead and start removing this panel right here. You can also do it with your fingers if you're strong enough, but don't do it too, too much. You wanna gently just get up under there and just pry upwards until you hear just some pops. Now, I'm not doing this too hard. I'm just getting in there and getting some leverage. At this point, I can just do it with my fingers once those few have popped right off. There are tabs that pop right off. I'm gonna get this part up first. Once I have this pretty much loosened up, I'm gonna start working with the second part, which is the side panel that goes upwards. Just like that. And just, uh, just a little bit of that part right there. Now, if you come with me to the back seat, you'll get a better angle. You can apply a little pressure so the tabs just pop right off like that and you'll feel it the whole thing will start loosening up If you come over here and you look, right over here we have a yellow plug that goes right into this seat belt print tensioner unit. This plug here also sends a signal from the airbag module to the seat belt to go ahead and deploy during an accident. If your seat belt has more than one plug, it's considered a dual stage or even a triple stage seat belt. As of right now, I see one plug. So I'm thinking it's a single stage or like we have on this car, the other side of the seat belt goes into the floor. Most newer cars will have dual stage or triple stage seat belts. On this one, we have this little end piece. Now on here, I notice that it's not an end piece that ends there and gets bolted to the floor where you can see it. It keeps going down underneath the carpeting. I'm gonna remove this panel here so I can show you better. So if we're following the end of the seatbelt down, you'll see it disappears under the carpeting. Now that I have this panel up, you can pull this carpet up to the side. Now what you're seeing here is a long cylinder shaped tube that runs down right, right there along the side. This part also deploys. Now I see another yellow plug right there if you come in a little bit more and try to get focused right on it you'll see that plug right there it looks similar to the other one that we saw on the actual seat belt pretensioner main unit it's all connected and this plug also sends a signal to deploy this long cylinder shaped tube part here it's called an anchor pretensioner if you send in this part together with your main seatbelt pretensioner all together with one piece, one unit, 
we do provide a special pricing on these types of units. It's known as a dual stage seat belt, and we can do them both together in one repair. The way you would remove this seat belt is first make sure you do have the car powered down. There is no battery connection to the car, just like the module. The second step is to go ahead and start removing these bolts here that hold it down. There's one here, there's one on the main pretensioner up above us, and one at the very top behind the paneling up there. Once you remove that, you can go ahead and unplug these as well. It should be a yellow plug like you see here. Sometimes it will be an orange plug. You would just go ahead and press on that and pop it all right off. Once you have the driver's side removed, you may also need to check your passenger side. Those do deploy as well. In many cases we see a module come in with two seat belts, the front driver and the front passenger. We can service all three units. Hey guys, if you're sitting there with a question in mind, go to myairbags.com and click on help. On there, you can type in a keyword or a question and most likely the right answer will pop up right for you. If it doesn't, we're always here on the phones. You can email us, chat with us, or you can even just text us. We're always here to help you, myairbags.com. Now's the time to give us a big like, subscribe to our channel. We have more videos just like this. Comment, I really enjoy reading your comments. This is Eli with myairbags.com. Save time and money on your next project.